we have um, we've done a lot of work. We have a violence reduction unit that is responsible for reducing serious violence, and by that, most of that is is knife uh, enabled crime. Uh, we have uh, sixty seven. Uh, hotspots, which we've mapped, not just using police data, but data we have from uh, the local authorities, third sector partners and hospital admissions uh, as well. So part of that is we've done 10,000 patrols of those 67 hotspots over the past year. Uh, and part of that is uh, being proactive and looking for those individuals who we do know uh, carry uh, knives, but also engage often with young people when we're out and about walking uh, in those locations. We have a team of uh, schools officers who work hand in hand uh, uh, with uh, uh, with schools uh, and the local authority in to explain what the role of the police is, some of the dangers of carrying a knives, but also explain how the police, for example, use stop and search uh, as, as a tactic uh, to keep people safe. And as part of the violence reduction unit work, we have a uh, we have a list of, of of known individuals who either who, who carry knives, and we target those proactively in using whatever powers uh, we have available. Because the sad reality is, we do know people who carry knives are more likely to be victim of knife crime. Um, so carrying a knife does not make people safe. Quite, quite the reverse, uh, uh, actually. So the message we want to get across is people shouldn't carry knives in the first place. It, it makes them uh, more vulnerable. And um, if they need need help and support, please contact the police, and we can provide um, you know, interventions uh, to provide help working with with some of our third sector organisations around education and diversion.